Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at Diablo 4. Now this game's been around for a while, a couple patches, uh, things like this and people are still apparently having some FPS issues within a game. Now let's look at the uh, requirements first and we're gonna jump into the options. So minimum required GPU for this game to run is apparently a GTX 660 and the recommended GPU is a GTX 970. Now Judging on what's written on Steam, the 970 is meant for Full HD or 1080p resolution, medium graphical setting, 60 FPS SSD required. So, for Full HD, 970 I would say is a pretty good card. Like, honestly, back in the day that was uh, one of my I want to have this GPU kind of cards. Uh, 970 also is the recommended GPU for Ghost Recon Wildlands, so that's how I know it because I wanted to play Wildlands. Now, when it comes to people and having FPS stutters, I think there's uh, way too many videos out there that shows what you need to adjust in terms of graphical fidelity to get the maximum frames. But we're not here to squeeze out the maximum frames out of this game. So, what we're gonna do is go through the settings we're gonna be using with a 47 TTI. We're going for 4K native, windowed full screen, which honestly is something stupid but it's better than window so we're just going with this uh, so yeah essentially we're going with no resolution scaling we're going with the default we're not using DLSS we're not using FSR we're going with 100% so native 4k no frame generation will be used uh, low latency of Nvidia reflex is turned off and we're going with the ultra quality preset now when it comes to graphical fidelity for this game I honestly think you can crank down at least two-thirds of these settings and they will not make a difference graphically but it will mean a lot when it comes to FPS. Now to be fair I wouldn't say Diablo is the game where you need to have 500 FPS to, to kill mobs but the more mobs will swarm you and the more spells you're gonna use and you know pretty much like World of Warcraft give or take that's gonna all the particle effects all, all the NPCs everything on your screen will tank your FPS that's that's a given that's how it works to be fair that's always how it's been uh, at least for Diablo if you remember Diablo 2 and you raised a whole skeleton army you know and you're moving across the screen you could sometimes going into the crypt you see a PowerPoint slideshow but hey you know those PCs didn't even have GPUs back then Anyhow, so we're going with everything enabled. Dynamic Shadow is one of the biggest uh, heavy hitters for GPU performance. We have uh, clutter doesn't matter for all this. Anti aliasing quality, honestly, I would turn this off, but and so on and so forth. Physics uh, are useless. Particle effects quality, yeah, that's all your spells and stuff. Reflections, even distortion and, and stuff like this. Like, we're everything's cranked in 4K. And as you can see, even on this screen, we're getting 51 frames. Now, I would say don't be scared of having around 60 frames. Be scared if you are dropping below 60 during actual gameplay. You, you, you'll see what it means. So, we're saving this and we need to pick something. Let's pick a... Let's pick a rogue, shall we? I'm gonna pick a rogue, I'm gonna finalize it. I'm gonna call it like this. We're taking uh, regular things. And let's see how much frames we're gonna be getting now. Sanctuary was never meant for humankind. It was forged as a refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. Instead, it became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was, and Sanctuary's ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. This is the story of their downfall.
find better shelter before I freeze. Right, so here we are, and as you saw during the cutscenes, or the pre-rendered cutscene, actually, we were dropping as low as 42 frames. Now, is it a bad thing? Not really. Why? Because it's a cutscene. Second of all, I did run this, the same, well, cutscene without uh, MSI showing the frames, and I was not able to see that we are below 60 or there would be any stutters, there's none. So, you know, that's one of the things. So what do we have right now? Right here we have 10 gigs of video memory allocated being used and 15 gigs of RAM. We are running DirectX 12 and we're above 60 frames, which is actually not too bad. Now, if we were to actually go and do something about it, in terms of increasing the frames by turning some settings down, I would say that would work out very well indeed, but is it actually that much required? I do not know. That's something you guys need kind of come to your own con conclusions here. For me, I'm just gonna run around and see how it all looks and feels. And for the majority of the part... For the majority of the parts, I would say... The game actually runs pretty well. Now, if we're chasing FPS... I would say we don't need to play on Alpha 4K. Like, right? that, that's, that's a thing. I would say render resolution about 50% and just medium all the way. We're probably going to be close, pushing about 150-ish frames probably on those settings because all of these soft dynamic shadows when we when you move around, you see all this? All this is tanking your GPU, literally. Now, granted for the 4070 Ti, it is kind of nice GPU when it comes to it and it kind of can hold its own. But there are some titles where it actually gives up. But then again, you know, if the recommended GPU is a 970, like, let's be real. Do you, do you really want to care? Do you really think you, you, you should be caring about any of that? I, I don't think so. I'm actually surprised there's so many enemies here. This is nice, look at this, all this blue gleam of the ice, or whatever this is supposed to be. Roads blocked. Should clear up when the storm has passed. So anyway, let's quickly heal up. Since you're playing on the lowest difficulty, of course we're not taking any damage. And all our enemies are taking all the damage for us, so you know, that's kind of nice. And honestly, this kind of does feel like your regular Diablo experience, in all honesty. We haven't got any... Any items, no artifacts, nothing. Don't really even have anything here. Containers! Another abandoned town. Demons everywhere. Fangs in the dark. Gah! He bit me. Careful. He's a wild one. Hey, go in. What's it to you? Oswen, hush! I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons! Spilling from the ruins! Kill us all! Kill us all! Ruins? What is he talking about? Come. I'll explain. Okay. There is evil staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Oh, nothing special about our little town, but it's home. Right. If Devmir's taking up all the space by the fire, 
Just give him a shove. <laughs> what? What's that? Y Let me help you out. Oh, you poor thing. Traveling in this awful weather. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. I'm gonna kill whatever's in those ruins before it gets the chance to kill me. Truly? Oh, thank you. Right. Immigration strike, blade shift, puncture. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So yeah, well, as you can see, the performance obviously is uh, pretty decent. It's we're slightly down in the town in terms of FPS, but uh, it's kind of expected. Outside of that, I would say you know this is just no need to be too worried about this. Well, I would say just have a good fun, really. Just you know, this is it's just literally your everyday Diablo. Have hand drops. Mark is junk. There you go. Oh, yeah, good old typical Diablo stuff. I think you guys seen enough. This is literally how this game actually goes, so. I wouldn't expect anything else. But I do hope you guys actually found this a little bit interesting. Maybe a little bit educational and yeah, go and play this. It should actually run absolutely fine on your setup as well. Anyhow, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Over and out.